Hey guys, undercover redneck. Here today with Leo. Leo and the redneck. Right, Leo? Right? Leo and the redneck. Uh, we, Leo and I are going to talk to you a little, a little bit about um, EDC. We're going to talk about, uh, well, let's just get into it. This is my belt kit. Somebody had commented that they'd like to see the contents of my belt kit. So I'm going to do that for you. Um, I've got it all laid out here so we can just kind of run through it. But I'm going to talk to you about the bag itself. That's the Helicontex um, Foxtrot MK2 if you're into model number designations and all that sort of cool stuff. Um, it's adaptive green. It's not the OD, which I like because, I don't know, it's got that, uh, it's got the non-tactical look to it. The non-military, right? I like that. I like, I think that goes along with the gray man, especially if you're going to be anywhere near a town or village. Um, I can't imagine somebody seeing me in tactical gear walking in or near a town and what that what sort of questions that would would bring up but anyway that's just in my own view Not, nothing wrong if you do have tactical gear okay but that's the Helicontex in adaptive green obviously you see the um, wool blanket I've got at the bottom that's a woolly what is that woolly mammoth blanket um they're not expensive but I bought, let me tell you why that's on my bag a for relative warm weather camping that's what i intend to use and also it's big enough i can wrap it around my sleeping bag turning it into a bivy if i need to do that it's cold okay so this within this bag uh first of all the bag weighs about 11.6 pounds and that's with water in both of my nail jeans. So, trying to keep weight down. Again, this straps to the outside of my bag. And um, it's something that, to my, outside of my primary bag, I can take off when I need to and just take this. Okay, so I wanted to build a, a kit that had everything in it that was detachable from my primary bag. And that also... Um, you know, I could cover all my my C's of survival, right? The Canterbury C's of survival we talk about. So, I'm just going to jump into it real quick. Uh, if you have questions about the bag, just comment down below. I'll try to get to them. So, let me just go through here and start right here with my hatchet. Um, that's a Norland hatchet. Uh, I bought that. I picked this thing up at a garage sale. I paid three bucks for it. Uh, estate sale, excuse me. Um, it was, I mean, it looked like somebody had been pounding nails with it. It was just in horrible condition. Um, and, um, just started out with a file and then brought it back, got a decent edge on it and then started in on it with my stones. And, um, it's great. I, I love it. It's my go-to, my go-to tool. If I'm dealing with a piece of wood, um, uh, like I said earlier, the, um, the paracord I put on there is not to be cool or make a statement about my ability to wrap paracord, but it's for sake of my EDC, it's just um, to, to conserve space, bring as much as I can. Couple hats, got a winter hat here, and then I've got a summer hat. I think I picked this up like 10 or 12 years ago at an Army Navy store, uh, nothing spectacular. The hat's a condor hat. I don't know what I paid for, it wasn't much. And then my, so people call them IFAX. It's, it's a first aid kit, right? Um, let me tell you what's inside. I got some some um, some clotting gauze. Got a roll of clotting gauze. I've got a tourniquet here, an Israeli bandage, and a bunch of boo boo stuff underneath that. Neosporin, uh, band aids. Um, there might even be needle and thread and a pair of scissors underneath there. Okay, let me just open it up. Some gorilla glue. What do you need gorilla glue for? Um, well. Yeah, I gotta glue my skin up. I hate to say that, but might have to do that. A pair of tweezers, super glue, neosporin, lip balm, and some. Uh, what is this? Yeah, that that's that's just some uh, floss, dental floss. Okay, and then some more bandages. A couple rolls of 
regular gauze in there as well. All right. So nothing, nothing too spectacular, but decent for an IFAC, I think. Uh, and then over here, so the corporal corner, he talks about, you hear me talk about the corporal quite a bit. He's got some good stuff. He's got some great ideas. Um, he's all about bringing at least four tent stakes with you. He's got a vid on that. You might want to check it out. And then uh, my multi-tool is a Shrade. You don't see a lot of those. It's really old, had it a long time. Don't remember where I got it, uh, but I carry a folding knife. I've got, in my primary bag, I've got two fixed blades and um, and then also some sharpening tools. This is just a puck, all right, it's fine on one side, of course on the other. And then my spider co, my little, my little stone. Um, guys, that thing is awesome. That thing is awesome. I believe it's, one side's 5,000, the other, or 3,000, the other side's five. Um, really good stuff. Cover. We gotta have cover, right? So, AquaQuest 10 by 10 tarp. And then I've got my Helicontex um, poncho. Alright. And let's see, moving over here to the right. Some paracord. This is a ridge line, goes with a tarp. Um, again, if you want to, that ridge line, I just copied it from Corporal's Corner, stole it from him. And then there's about 50 feet of bank line, and I just carved a piece of cedar and uh, wrapped that around there, okay? Some thread and needles, various needles in there, compass, uh, that's a Sunto, just a regular Sunto compass, and a OD green bandana with no... No lettering on it. Some cargo tape, candle here. Uh, that's some wax jute twine. A couple lighters, ferro rod, some more fat, some fat wood. Uh, a spork. That's a titanium spork. My uh, expedition grill, expedition research grill. I don't know what that is, like eight inches long. Um, and then I've got a pack of uh, ramen noodles and three packs of Quaker oatmeal, instant oatmeal. And then over here, I've got my two Nalgene bottles and um, my two GSI outdoor cups with interchangeable lid. All right. That is my EDC. Again, the whole deal with the EDC, with the, with the bag, is to be able to detach it and go and sustain myself while I'm doing whatever I'm doing. All right, comment down below, Undercover Redneck out.